Welcome to FL Studios. Thank you for clicking on the video. Just like the title says, you will learn how to use Sound Goodizer. If you don't know how to use it and you're confused on what it does, this is the video to solve that problem. I've isolated all of these instruments. We're going to start with letting you hear the instrument raw, and then I'm going to turn on one Sound Goodizer and let you hear what it does, and then I'm going to explain it. So that is a chop that I grabbed from a French singer. Uh, I'm gonna turn on the sound goodizer now. So as you can hear, the gain increases, it gets louder. Uh, the low end gets cut, so you hear more of the high end. And so that's what A does. So we're going to do that again, and I'm going to cycle through each of these different types of mode. There's only four modes. So it's kind of like a, these are kind of just presets for EQ. You can get the same sound if you just use the regular parametric EQ. However, this is kind of like a quick shortcut. This big knob here is the amount. You can always look up at the hint bar, hint tab right here, and it'll show you. So this uh, controls the amount that this effect has on the input signal. That input signal would be whatever insert you're using. So let's turn this down a little bit. So that's dry, that's no input. Uh, the signal is not affected at all. The input signal is not affected. Go to B. Go to C. D. I like to use Sound Goodizer when I want to get a different tonality. Uh, when I want the whole section instrument to sound a little different, uh, whatever I'm using the sample, I just want to hear what it would sound like with a quick filter attached. Sometimes I'll use it to boost audio or vocals. That's basically how you use it. You have four buttons here, they're different modes, and then this is your volume knob. We'll put one on the master track. Uh, we'll close these ones out. So we'll listen to it and then I'll apply some of these to see what they sound like. So B sounds muffled, A sounds uh, like there's a high pass. C sounds really saturated. And to me, D is the cleanest. Uh, usually people who like high passes will say high passes are the cleanest, but it's not clean as much as there's no bass. So bass can get muddy, but it can also amplify music. Uh, so uh, take that with a grain of salt. This is just to show you what the sound good eyeser does. I like D. And that is how you use Sound Goodizer. A uh, bonus tip uh, if you like it here, if this is cool, you can go over to this little knob, which is your mix volume. So that completely turns Sound Goodizer off. And when you put it on max, it'll allow all of this to come through. So. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If I helped you in any way to know how to use a plugin, please give me a like or a subscribe or both. It really helps out the channel and it helps me out. It allows me to reach more people who might need assistance. 
So thank you for watching. Hopefully this is quick for you. Until next time, Lux Ether.